what's good? We are at Metroflex in Lower Sydenham, which is my home gym, gym where I always train. Seen loads of videos there that I've trained at. And today I'm with my boy, Andrew. What's going on? I'm surprised we haven't done a video yet because <laughs> me and Andrew go way back and um, it was one of my first, you were my first, yeah. first training partner that I ever had, like back back in the day when we used to train at uh, Fitness First in Lersham, <laughs> you know, yeah, and, um, and we, we, had, we had a lot of progress there, man, a lot of progress. Well, um, we, we bounced off each other and um, we managed to push each other and, you know, we made, we made loads, loads of progress, man. It was a really good experience and it's funny because back then we did a lot of stuff that we don't even do now, like we did drop sets, we did uh, German <laughs> volume training, we did EDT, we trained yeah, twice a day. Um, we really drop sets and we're taking over the whole gym. We're taking over the whole gym, man. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, it's stuff that it's, we might actually bring to you as well. Like, so hopefully me and Andrew will do some more videos and bring back some of the old stuff that we used to do uh, to show you because it was really enjoyable stuff. Tough stuff that I don't know how we did. Today we're hitting back. Um, you know, I've brought you the how to build a big chest, how to build big arms, etc. You've been asking for the back one. So today I'm going to take you through a regular back session, you know? It's nothing crazy and nothing different to what I normally do. So you're gonna see a, a regular back session, which is lots of volume and lots of rolls, lots of pull downs. And yeah, we're gonna kill it and hopefully it'll be something that you guys can learn from and enjoy. say to you guys when, when, when you start the exercise the reps are high and the form is near perfect and then as it gets heavier you know you still try and keep that form but um, you know, there could come a point where it doesn't look as clean but as long as you're lifting safe you'll still you know you still really will benefit from that style of lifting with the increased heavy weight because that's where the gains happen on a very good day I can get up to four plates on this. I don't know about that today, but um, you know, it's all about testing it out. So we'll see how it goes. up nicely we did the one plate one and a half two plate two and a half you know we've made our way up to three and a half we've hit it twice i would say that that's the best we're going to get out of it so uh, now we're going to go back down So that is the bent over rolls finish. Um, I like to hit the heavy, heavy exercise first, you know. So I um, normally will start with deadlifts and you know go nice and heavy. 
or it was, like today it was bent off the rolls. It could be a single arm roll, but it's always something heavy to start off with, you know, something big, you know. And then we move on to like the pull downs, single rolls, etc. You know, so um, I think we did maybe eight to ten sets. I don't know, but uh, it did follow the same principle of starting off light, warming up, and then uh, getting to a heavy, heavy set, and then maintaining the, you know, the weight like a, a heavy set and hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. So for example, some people would normally do three to four sets and that fourth set will be their heavy set and then they move on. Uh, what we've just done, we warmed up to maybe the fourth set was when we really got heavy and we started to hit the three plates and then we hit the three plates, then we hit the three and a half, then we hit the three and a half again, then back to the three. Staying quite heavy, you know, those are the ones that make, make the gains, you know, those are the ones where you get strength gains, where you get size gains, where you're hitting it heavy. So um, that's what I like to stay as heavy as possible for as long as possible. Um, when I feel that the form starts to, to go a bit, that's when we go back down. Just to get the reps in and, you know, just to, just, just, just to finish it off, really. So we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna hit like lap cool downs, etc. upstairs. And um, yeah, stay tuned. First set was 20 reps, second was 15, this third will be about 12, and then we're really gonna go for it, take the weight up, and maybe go for six reps and you know, heavy, heavy, heavy. After lap pull downs, I'd normally, you know, sometimes change it to close grip lap pull down. Or what I've been doing, like recently, is I've been doing it behind the neck to hit a different angle, which I really love. I mean, if you try it, you'll love it. It feels amazing. You really feel your lats working. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get a bench and put it just here so I can come out a little bit further, just so I get more of, of a distance between me and the bar, so the bar can go down behind my head perfectly. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna hit it from behind the neck. Now the difference with this, um, as opposed to the normal lap pull down, is I, like, I'm not really trying to go for weight on this. I'm not trying to go heavy. I'm just, I want some concentrated reps. This is an exercise I just do slow and controlled because any exercise where you're doing like a pull behind your neck, it's a precarious position to put your body in. You know, it's, a lot of people don't even do exercises behind the neck because they say, you know, it's just, um, it's not a natural movement of your body. So they, they avoid doing things behind the neck. So that's why with this exercise, I wouldn't try and go heavy. I'll just keep it controlled. Don't try and go too heavy. You don't want to be swinging back and forth with your neck. You just want it nice controlled reps. Now, his historically, I stopped doing behind the neck movements because I injured myself. Um, I was doing a military press and doing it from behind and I pulled something in my neck. But that's a typical sign of letting your ego get involved in your training and therefore then trying to go heavier than what you necessarily should have done. So now I bring it back into these sorts of movements, taking the weight nice and light and building up gradually, slowly. Fortunately, it wasn't a permanent thing and it's, it's fine now, but you know, gotta be careful at it. Okay, we're gonna move on to a seated roll. But before we do that, there's an exercise I wanna show you guys. We're not gonna do it fully, but I'm gonna demonstrate it. It's, a, it's another lap pull down, but it's seated on the floor and it's with the rope. And the reason why I would do that, not as opposed to this, but you know, just um, as a change from normal lap pull down, is because with someone as, with as long limbs as I have, um, 
to really get the full stretch on it, seated on the floor with the rope, you can really tuck in. If you've got long limbs like me, sometimes when your hands are, when, you, when you've got the bar right at the top, it's hit, it hits. So you have to start with a bend in your elbow, and I don't like that, I want a full stretch. So as you can see, he's getting the full stretch, and it's perfect for the lats. But like as it comes up, you get the full stretch, it's perfect. Dope exercise. So it's just something, a variation for you on back day if you're tired of doing your regular lap pull downs, you know, put the rope on and try this out, you know. There's plenty of ways to make training exciting, you know. Andrew's just finished a set of another exercise that I want to show you. We're not going to do a full, you know, eight to ten sets on this. I'm only doing this exercise just to demonstrate another variation of a pull down that I actually do frequently with my back days. I like to just hit the back as from as many different angles as possible, as many different ranges as possible, you know, different kind of rolls, you know. So obviously you've seen at least two different lap pull downs today. And this again is another pull down in a different with a different range, you know, because for this one we're going super wide. Obviously with a lap pull down you're coming from an angle of about there. This is going super wide. So so this is just we're just demonstrating this one for you just so you know and you can mix and match with your back exercises. Gathering is like scooping back. Scooping back up from the top to the front. You get the middle, middle, or the middle in there as well. Engage it right the way down to the back. I have to admit, this is my favourite exercise of all time, really and truly, because you get maximum recruitment, and you can't do anything but get maximum recruitment. There's no way of cheating really on this one. It's just all in blood, sweat, guts, and tears. Plus, on top of that, because you're right down on the floor, even the tallest of people, like with that sim over there with long arms, get maximum length. So full stretch, so full go from full stretch to full flex. One of the best back exercises out there by far. Just make sure you get in the right position when, or when you're on the floor. Lats engaged from before you actually start the motion. Actually, yeah, that's a, that's a very important thing. Make sure your lats are engaged before you start pulling down. You don't want to just start pulling down and then try and get um, into the right position. You'll feel it from the, as soon as you, like if you see where we started now, so you go from there, fully engaged. You'll feel it. And it's going to bring it down. And then in, front pull. There, you squeeze. So again, make sure your elbows don't come forward. They all go flat, let elbows flared. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. As you've seen me train here, you know, in loads of videos, you know this is like my home gym, I always train here. I want to introduce you guys to Dunk, manager of the gym. How are you doing? Tell me about Metro. Um, well, we got the gym 12 years. Um, started off kind of small um, and uh, we just built it on the basis of getting all the best competitors from local. It was kind of the best advertisement from the gym and obviously I remember when Sim come in and you know he's uh, obviously gone from rags to riches and uh, you know we're proud to have him here and we've got many champions and people that aspire to be all sorts uh, from people just starting out people losing weight gaining weight and uh, we pride ourselves on being a hardcore gym in South East London and and uh, no frills, no spills, but a good, just a strong work ethic and Simeon's got loads of that. So. And, and the thing about Metro, um, as Doug will, will tell you, is like the atmosphere in there is amazing. In yeah. terms of bodybuilding, you know, so many people that have come out of this gym, you know, and it's like, people don't realise, 
when you look in this gym, you think, oh, you know, if you if you go to a regular gym like a health club, you'll think you can't you can't train here because it's just full of big beefy bodybuilders. They don't look friendly, but they are. That's the thing. We're all friendly here. Everyone's ready to help. You know, um, from all ages, females, everyone can come here and train, and um, it's just a brilliant gym. Atmosphere is just perfect, man. Anyone that's trained here will tell you testament about the, the, the atmosphere in here, you know. So um, yeah, just for a shout out my gym, shout out yeah, Doug, yeah, yeah. you know. Gotta let everyone know. Metroflex. Okay, guys, that is a wrap. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Always a pleasure training with Andrew. Always. Always. Yeah, now we really enjoyed that. Um, like I said at the beginning, it was just to show you what a typical back workout looks like, and that's a typical back workout. Um, I tried to show you as many exercises as possible that you know I mix and match with all the time because I always tell you guys it's all about mixing mixing and matching your exercises trying to get as many angles as possible and um, understanding that there's not necessarily a best exercise it's a mixture of exercises there's your staple exercises like a deadlift is staple on a back day like I said we didn't do it today but um, every now and then I like to mix and match you know and I, and I might not do a deadlift but I do still do something heavy you know it's all about different angles different rolls you know roll from underneath roll from the top roll from the middle you know just get that's how you get the thickness you know and you want the width Go for your lap pull downs and as many variations as possible. Definitely. I mean, the most important thing to make, remember is to is variation. You know, making sure that you like your muscle, your muscle inserts and attaches from several different points, and that's why it's important, really key when you when you're designing and landscaping out your workouts, to make sure that you remember how your muscle moves, and then make sure you incorporate those movements into the exercises that you're doing. Don't lead with the weight. Don't lead your workout with your ego. Make sure you're mm. keeping you're, you're moving up nicely, moving up steadily, increase like increasing incrementally, you know, and and make sure you warm everything up ni nicely as you go through. And um, structure, you said it at the beginning, structure, you said don't walk in blind, your, your session should have a plan, you know, every session we do has a plan, there is never mm. a time where I'm going to walk in the gym and just be, yeah, I'll do that, I might as well do that, I need to know what I'm hitting, I've said it to you guys before, as I was, you know, going through the years of my training, there was a certain year where I found a, a certain book called uh, Strength Training Anatomy, and I'll always shout about this book, because it just changed everything for me, it let me know where the muscles were, and it made, basically meant that anytime I go in the gym, I need to make sure I hit the muscle from all different angles, you know. I'm gonna do another few videos with, with Andrew as many as we as we can. Yeah. And um, what I, like I said at the beginning, we're gonna try and bring you some of the stuff that we used to do. It'll be fun for us to, to you know to go <laughs> yeah. back and, back and do day. what we used to do, you know, with the drop sets and the back and day. the EDT, etc. Very much looking forward to that. Uh, guys, if you want to check out Metroflex LDN Instagram, there's loads of people doing some 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 good stuff here, you know, lots of people have trained here, so check out the Instagram and um, you'll catch that. Check out my boy's channel, Buns and Guns. Yeah. Tell them about the channel. Buns and Guns is a one-stop shop. So you've got me and my girl that sort of host it, um, but it's got training videos from me. It's got my inspirational, motivational videos from me. I do a lot of talks, um, especially one weekly called Rise and Grind. And it's also got in and about us as we go uh, as we go to different gyms up and down, up and down the country and about to be internationally as well. So check that out. Guys, if you love the tracksuits that we're wearing and all the tops, all the SPS FX gear, you know where it is. It's SPS, sp spxcom Go check it out. And um, yeah, I'm gonna bring you more stuff. Simeon Panda, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.